So I'm off to talking about trend trading or following the trend and then trend reversal trading. Both different types of um, trade participation. But this is such an amazing example of how one is sticking with the uptrend, looking for evidence to remain bullish and look for the setups of the bullish scenario. We get the price action to push higher um, and then once we have five waves in place and we start to break below the low of the previous fourth wave, we have a trend channel to work with. We look at a higher wave degree count. We have another trend channel to look with and we have a red light warning, which is telling us we have a significant trend line in the form of an impulse channel because we are Elliotitians. So it's more significant to us than it may be to a person trying to establish a trend line from 79.20. We are aware that if the price action breaks below this trend line and takes out the low of the previous fourth wave, that's significant and we may have a sizable reversal unfolding under this green wave one count. So we've gone from a very bullish outlook, a nice trading setup, got the fifth wave trade out of it, which took out the end of wave three, what we were looking for. And we have the information then to consider a higher wave degree, five waves are in place. So here in the update where we say the impulse channel has offered significant support for that five wave advance. So you can see the different support that we got. And violation of the channel's lower boundary could trigger a swift move lower. And it could put the bearish outlook from 85.44 on a solid footing. Great information. So here is a recent update from the 22nd of March. And you can see the price action has broken out of this channel from the um, blue wave one advance. On our four hour chart, we see that we're breaking out of the channel. We know that's significant and we know the price action could free fall or could at least come back to test the lows of this fourth wave triangle, if not much lower over the coming weeks. And now a few hours later, we have um, more downside price action. Rather an uptrend, which we had been looking at, we are now in a downtrend. We're under the fourth wave scenario. We are using the wave one low as our key level, and we're using trend lines to keep our focus on lower. We go to the four hour chart, we start to look here. What levels can we be on the lookout for to set up a trading plan against it? Say if you're the intraday trader working with this service or whoever, you then, then use that to keep the focus on lower and stick with the wave count. So we've basically gone from a trend continuation setup to a trend reversal setup within a very small time frame and within very little price action, basically while using the guidelines of the wave principle. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions or queries or any interest in taking a closer look at the Currency Pro services, email me or customer services and I'll be sure to get the guys to, um, to help you out. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you soon.